left out a bit here. No, so that's all right. I know. That's so the question here has the answer for everything. Why can't Balfour serve as a basis for two states, for two peoples today? Because Balfour has the two elements that are still not accepted on the other side. That the Jewish people are a people, a nation, worthy of self-determination rather than a religious group, and that they have a historical connection to the land. These are the two things that are still not accepted. Uh, there is a lot of confusion in the things that were said. Israel was recognized, Israel was accepted. This was never the case because whenever there was recognition of Israel, it was always with a continued insistence on what the Arab side and the Palestinians call return their demand for return, their claim that they have a right essentially to the, the state of Israel today, to, to put the Jews back in their proper place as a religious minority in an Arab state. So until, if the question's here, what more needs to be done? It's very simple, to achieve two states, and I would be very supportive of Britain declaring tomorrow it recognizes the state of Palestine in the West Bank and Gaza if it did so with the clear declaration that just as it opposes Jewish claims east of the Green Line, the 1949 ceasefire line that separates the State of Israel from the West Bank, just as it denies and opposes Jewish claims east of the line in the form of settlements, it denies and opposes and rejects our Palestinian claims west of the line in the form of this demand for return. As long as the Palestinians and Arabs persist in their maximalist claims, we will not be able to separate the land into a Jewish state of Israel and an Arab state of Palestine. Support for self-determination for the Jewish people in the land and support for self-determination for the Palestinians in the land has to come with the clear understanding that neither side can have it all. Broadly speaking, the Jews have understood it multiple times. From 1917 to 1937 to 1947 to 1968 to 2000 to 2008, the Jews have again and again said, yes, we have historical, legal claims. We have an emotional connection to Judea, the cradle of our civilization, and yet we are willing to forgo it in the understanding that there is another people here with an equal claim. The Arab Palestinians are yet to say yes to any proposal and agreement that says we understand that the Jews are an indigenous people here, no less than us, and indigenous people who have been exiled and come home, but indigenous. A people who have a legitimate, legal, historical, and emotional claim to the land, and therefore they deserve something, and we deserve something. Our right is not superior and exclusive. Their right is not superior and exclusive. We are yet to hear a clear Arab-Palestinian declaration that says, we understand there will be no return west of the Green Line. We will have our state. We will realize our right to self-determination. And just as the Jews realized their right to self-determination and enacted a law of return for the Jewish people, when the state of Palestine declares independence, it will enact a law of return for the Palestinian people, but only and only into the state of Palestine in the West Bank and Gaza, and there is absolutely no claim and no right west of that line. When that happens, you will find that Balfour and your right, there will be peace tomorrow morning. Thanks, Anna. Thanks very much.